So this lab will uh, walk you over the first few steps of QGIS. Now you can see my screen, which is uh, the C drive, and I'm going to create a new folder uh, under the C drive. This is pretty much the same as what we did in our first few uh, labs. And the difference is, um, if you are working on a local uh, machine, you may not have a P drive, so I'm, you are going to create a, a folder under your C drive or D drive. And you can name this as Geography 2500 or some other names such as GIS. And uh, click into this folder and create another subfolder, which is Lab 9. And now if you click into the lab line, uh, there's uh, no data. So I'm going to download the data using um, the link provided in the setup instruction. Now in your web browser, um, copy and paste the link from the instruction and enter, and you'll see the data will be downloaded. Uh, it's in the lower left corner, and uh, uh, it takes about 30 seconds. And after that, you know, unzip it and put it in your created work folder. So now I have uh, unzipped the data, and now if you go to C drive, Geography 2500, Lab 9, and you see there's a new folder called the Packages uh, included in there. And the double click, and you can see the Natural Arts folder. And uh, if you go down one level, you can see our data are included. So here, uh, I, I need to explain the setup of the data for you. Uh, so this QG's file, this is the data we will be using for this lab. And uh, so this is uh, uh, the map file for QGIS. It's the, pretty much the same as the, the MXD file for ArcMap. So you can open um, the ArcMap if you have ArcMap installed in your computer using this uh, file. If you are using QGIS, which is our case, um, we are going to just use this file. And now I'm not going to double click and open it. And I'm going to show you you know, in the lab instruction, how we could load it in QGIS uh, under the menu. So that's all for this uh, lab setup.